Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my annual what I got for Christmas video and I am so so excited to show you guys everything that I got. Of course the disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. I'm very very grateful and thankful for my friends and my family and we still have two Christmas parties left to go to that did not make it in time for this video. This is honestly one of the videos that everyone seems to love around the holiday season so I made it an annual video a couple of years ago and I also have a couple other videos going live after this so make sure you subscribe to hit the bell and then you'll never miss an upload and yeah let's get on into the video. I have a ton of stuff to share with you. Oh God, I don't even know how to start this. Okay, if you follow me on socials, you already know what I'm gonna say, but I got engaged on Christmas and I'm like, so I haven't even been able to wrap my head around the fact that we are engaged. Inside my stocking, I had a card and this was the last gift that I opened. So inside the card was a two page handwritten letter and I just absolutely could not believe my eyes when Shane had me stand up and he got down on one knee and he proposed to me. Um, back in 2020, we did get engaged. We decided to call off our engagement and cancel our wedding and just kind of take a step back. We were not ready for that at all, but we've been together for almost 10 years now and actually in February will be our tenure. Fun fact but I was really, really surprised to see this in my stocking and inside of it, the letter was really, really sweet. I could barely even hold it together while I was reading it. I just, I'm like so happy that we've made the decision to move forward in our relationship. And I'm just like, I, like, I can't even wrap my head around the fact that that happened, but that obviously is gift number one that I wanted to share with you guys, even though it's not technically a gift, I would consider it a gift. It was a very big surprise to me. Funny enough, a couple of years ago, the first year that we actually lived together, I was convinced, okay, like convinced that we were getting engaged and then we did not. And I just about lost my mind. It was like meltdown city. And I think in my head, I just had convinced myself so hard that it was going to happen. And when it didn't, I was like devastated. This Christmas, I was shocked. I never thought he would do it on Christmas. And he literally did it on Christmas because of that. And I think it's so funny. Like we thought it was so funny that I was so upset. He had no idea like where I got it in my mind that he was gonna propose. But yeah, so that's the story behind why he proposed on Christmas. For obvious reasons, we are going to start with Shane this Christmas and everything that he got me. So I've been taking ice skating lessons and turns out my garage sale $5 ice skates are actually recreational skates and they are not real figure skates. So he bought me a new pair of skates. I'm literally so excited to wear these. They still have like the little guards on them and everything, but these are by Jackson and they have a fleece lining inside of them. I'm just like so, so excited to keep moving forward with the sport. I've already passed my level four and I think real figure skates that are actually supposed to be used for spins and jumps and all of that fun stuff are gonna make a huge difference in learning how to skate. I've been going to the ice rink a lot and my hands get really, really cold. So in my stocking, he put a little hand warmer. It's pink and it also doubles as a phone charger just in case I need it. But this thing gets really, really hot and I'm hoping this will make a difference when I'm on the ice as often as I have been. This was another gift in my stocking. It is a Tom Ford makeup palette. And ironically enough, he found it in the shade Honeymoon. So a little foreshadowing for me there but it's this really pretty palette. And when you open it up, it has these really pretty colors in it and also a couple of little brushes inside. Also in my stocking this year, I have a body wash, a body scrub, and of course a little mini hand sanitizer. I also got this little claw clip that has like little glitter sparkles all over it. And I really like the size of it compared to the one that I have on right now. Like you can see the size difference. I got a pack of football themed notepads. There are three in here, all different sizes. I'm so excited to use these for football season. He picked out two new perfumes for me this year from Victoria's Secret. This is in the Bombshell Glamour scent, and this is in the Bombshell Isle scent. I love my wireless charger, but it definitely has been on its last leg for a while now. It barely charges my phone, if it even does. So he replaced it with this new wireless charger that also has an alarm and the time display. Every year he picks out a new snow globe for me, and this is the snow globe he picked out this year. It has this little white house inside and all these little tiny white trees in there. I'm so, so excited to 
put this with my snow globe collection and this is one of my favorite ones I've ever received ever and I absolutely am obsessed with the white on the white. I think it's gonna look so good. A notebook with little cherries on it. This one is just a plain lined notebook on the inside. I'm planning on getting a new coffee table so he got me a Cars of the 1950s coffee table book and believe it or not, my grandpa used to own a Chevy Belair. It was a 1957 Chevy that was all original and I actually helped him rebuild the engine when I was little because I had little tiny hands. But since then, we have sold that car. So being able to bring it back to life with the coffee table book in our home in some capacity really means a lot to me and I'm really excited to put this on the coffee table. This blouse from Ann Taylor. I got these pants from Guess. A two-piece Calvin Klein set. Here is the top and here are the bottoms. I love Aldo bags and he found me this one that has the black glitter rhinestones, which it's literally me in a bag. If I was going to be a purse, it would be this purse. So this also came with a little tiny attachment where you can kind of use it as a keychain or you can attach it to the bag. But inside here, I can fit like my little key fob or if I want to carry change or anything small. But the bag itself is from Aldo and it has this really, really pretty little lock right here. But it also came with two straps. So here is the first strap and then it also came with this little black chain strap where I can kind of switch them out. I can take them off. I can use it however I want to. I honestly think I will probably get the most use out of this handbag compared to any of the other ones in my collection. I mean, just, can we just take a second to like, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got from my parents and we're gonna do a little bit of a speed round so that this video isn't 10 years long. Um, Christmas towels, I got two sets of those. Fun little spiderweb hot pads. The Scooby-Doo Wet and Wild collection. This is the three piece brush set that glows in the dark. I'm so excited to use these. I literally cannot wait to take them out of the packaging. A glow in the dark liquid eyeliner. A pink and a purple eyeliner and the glitter palette that comes with a brush. I'm also so excited to use this. I am really hoping the glitters are very pigmented. Little ghost sponges and a giant container of M&M peanut clusters. And in addition to these gifts, my parents also bought us a new washer and dryer. And I will insert a picture here. Of course, I can't drag them in here. They are huge and heavy, but thank you, mom and dad. We are very, very excited by we, I mean me. I'm very, very excited to do my laundry in a nice brand new washer and dryer. Okay, I forgot one thing. My parents also got us a Disney ice cream maker and the lid comes off and the thing like spins around on the inside. You don't have to like manually crank it or anything, but it has Mickey Mouse on the front of it and it's this thing is huge and really, really heavy but this is also for my mom and dad. Next up is gifts from my sister. So this first item is a coffee table book and inside it has some pictures of Shane and I throughout the years. And I thought this was a really cool gift, especially cause she didn't even know we were collecting coffee table books so that we could replace the coffee table. So got a big package of lip liner, a big package of lipstick, shimmer wall. So this is the box with all of the individual tiles in it. So all of these little individual tiles connect and they make a shimmer backdrop. And I'm thinking about using this for Galentine's. I think this is the perfect shade of like pinky gold, more of like a rose gold color. Somehow I ended up with a gift card and of course I went and spent it right away. I ended up with this Barbie crew neck. I loved the Barbie movie. I literally live in this crew neck now. A pair of little festive holiday socks. They also have lining on the inside of them. They're like very fancy. The new pajama set. So this is the top. And then here are the bottoms. These are from the girls that I go ice skating with. So Emily, Madison, and Gigi got me a very big gift basket and I could not even believe the amount of stuff that they put in here. So this all is from them. A Detroit Lions snow globe with Ford Field inside of it. A Detroit Lions glass a Victoria's Secret body spray, some Taylor Swift friendship bracelets. So these ones are for Reputation. This is for the Lover album and this is 1989 Welcome to New York. They also made me a little Christmas necklace, a pair of little cat socks. This is hand painted and I'm so excited to put this with my Taylor Swift stuff. A disco ball. Gigi handmade this card and I thought it was so pretty. I'm gonna put this on display literally every year. 
a little stocking. I got these fancy dark chocolate truffles. This huge blanket and on the blanket there are a bunch of pictures of cats doing mischievous things. So there's a picture of like cats drinking water, messing up plants, there's one where they're spilling the water, digging on a cardboard box. Let me see if I can find my favorite one. Oh, right here. The cat has the fish literally in his mouth and he spilled all the fish from the little fish bowl. Speaking of ice skating, my aunt bought me a new pair of skating pants and just look at how pretty these are. So down the leg, they have crystals all the way down and these are the type of pants that actually go over my boot. So that way my laces don't come untied and they just look really, really pretty. I'm so excited to wear them. And on the inside, they are also fleece lined, so they will keep me warm on the ice. Also bought me this gorgeous ice skating dress. I am obsessed. I literally cannot wait to wear this. Look at the back of it. It even has like a little zipper and everything up the back. Lastly, she bought me this really fancy knife set that I've been wanting for literally right behind me. I'm going to put it on display right here. But this has 17 different pieces in it. It has whatever this thing is, a little potato peeler a pair of scissors, a bunch of steak knives, of course the big knives, the bread knife, the meat knife, all of that. But this is literally my favorite knife. It says pizza. It's a pizza knife. I am so excited to put this on display in the kitchen. I think it matches our kitchen perfectly. And I think it's a really fun way to display knives. But there's a part of me that doesn't even want to use these just because I'm like, I want it to be perfect. I wanted to do the gift from my grandparents last because of how big and heavy this item is. So I'm gonna show you guys at the end, but I got a little hot cocoa bomb, got an ice skating ornament, the Barbie movie in Ultra 4K. We have watched this probably five times now and I've had it for literally a week. This also comes with the special features. Got the Taylor Swift Fearless Taylor's Version CD, some M&Ms, Hershey's with almonds, a king size Kit Kat. And last but not least, my grandparents know that we've been working on my mega closet project for quite a while now. I've been kind of waiting to start the project before I have all of the pieces. So this is an item for the mega closet specifically. This is an item that I put on my list and I am so, so excited to put this up in the closet. Once everything has been renovated in there, I think this is going to look so gorgeous. It's a chandelier! And there are three separate layers of crystals that hang from here. I will insert a picture. I literally am so excited to see this up and I cannot even imagine how sparkly it's going to be once it's in the room with all the crystals dangling just from how sparkly it is and it's literally still wrapped. I haven't taken it out of the wrapping or anything yet and oh my god this thing is so heavy. That is everything I got for Christmas this year. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys next time in a brand new video.